Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I want to go over another debunking flat earth video and this time I continue on the gyro compass and basically go over how it proves the earth is rotating and as always here's a whole bunch of links I'll be going over and this is the all, all the important ones will be on mes.fm uh, slash links is the mes links webpage. And the uh, video's not going to be too long, uh, but I'm going to rapid fire through a whole bunch of uh, these other stuff. It's pretty uh, amusing. So I have the uh, debunking uh, Flat Earth playlist right here. And then I have uh, this is the last video I made or the first one I made on the uh, debunking Flat Earth. That's a gyro compass aligns with Earth's rotation. And then we'll go over the Andrew Gravity Part 6 uh, video. We'll go over the hive notes uh, as it pertains to the uh, gyro compass. And then uh, we'll look at some draft I MES mean, experiments. This is one I made a few months ago or, uh, or last year maybe. And this one I made today just to illustrate the gyro compass uh, more clearly, uh, as well as my MES experiments uh, playlist uh, and look at experiment 31, mechanical demonstration of inertia, as well as gyro compass. I didn't realize it until after I made the video, the uh, debunking video, and then realized, hey, this, was, this is literally gyro compass. And then I'll go over a, a list of uh, basically flat earthers that don't mention gyro compass, which is <laughs> quite strange. My, the first video, the first two videos I'm making are on the gyro compass. Yet these seasoned uh, professional uh, flat earthers uh, never mention it or barely or get it wrong. Yeah, and here's these are the names. Uh, this is that uh, Austin Wits, uh, Witsit or uh, Witsit, uh, and he's also arrested in Mount, Mount Rushmore for uh, <laughs> uh, for uh, illegally making a demonstration. <laughs> and I think it was the demonstration uh, of protesting flat Earth or something like that. And then uh, this person here, the Morgul, and then this other person is the Bible from heaven. Is the Earth the globe? They never mentioned it or they mentioned it one time. And then Eric Dubay, Nathan Oakley, and so on. And and uh, yeah, so then uh, further down, we're going to show that the MES was invited to a Flat Earth uh, X space on Twitter or X. And also MES is a globalist now. It's a pretty funny photo. And MES taking a stand against Flat Earth. And almost, almost 50,000 subscribers. Epic stuff. So let's just go right here. So there's the MES links right here. And uh, you can open it up or close it. That's all my important links. And uh, so there's a debunking Flat Earth right here. There's a YouTube playlist. I'm also going to go over MES experiments. You can see all the relevant links here. And the anti-gravity. There's the anti-gravity right here. This is part six, objects and rotation defy mainstream physics. And we'll go over here. Uh, this is the playlist, the debunking flat earth uh, playlist. So far as one, one video and then including the one I'm doing right now. And then going further, this is the uh, debunking flat earth video. Just to show you the link there. All right. And then going further. And this is the anti-gravity part six. And this is the section on gyro compass. And here's the notes uh, relevant on it, but I'm going to just jump straight to this part on how a gyro compass works. Uh, so basically we have uh, just a note here. I mean, no top picture is a free gyroscope. Bottom picture is a gyro compass. So if you have a gyroscope, it wants to maintain its alignment. So if the earth's rotating, this one wants to maintain. So uh, if you look at it from the perspective of the earth, it looks like the gyro is drifting. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's turning, but it's actually the earth turning and and now with the gyro compass, you have these actual weights. I think this is mercury added here. This is uh, just a, a thing that I, I, this is why I'm doing the video again, because I have to experiment to make sure we got this right. So MES correction, spin direction should align with Earth's rotation. This one right here is, has these weights or this mercury inside as the, the, uh, the gyroscope wants to uh, maintain its alignment. Uh, but th this is not allowing it. Uh, well, this, this has mercury shifting around. Uh, it, it's, just a, it's a bit obscure how it works exactly there, but but basically, it's preventing it from uh, rising, so you're going to have a downwards torque on it. And then what ends up happening is that it, it's it, this image has it, uh, this rotation going opposite of gravity. I mean, opposite of rotation of the Earth's rotation. But it's actually, uh, it should be going the other way around. So it should be following Earth's rotation instead of the other way around. So it processes until it, it lines up with it. And then I'll do some demonstrations on that. So I want to show that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's one thing I wanted to show. So this is this is, look at that jar setup. So here's my uh, MES drafts uh, right here. So I had one uh, nine hours ago I filmed, and we're gonna go over that one. But also uh, one I made uh, way earlier. This is two years ago actually. Jo uh, gyro torque line uh, spin lining up. These are just the unlisted draft experiments I've done. So no, no, <laughs> I've done a thousand one hundred videos, and almost uh, most of them are gyroscopes, but also some magnetism and so on. So going further. So here is the gyro torque spin lining up right here. So I, I just, this is one manually. So if you uh, so spin it right now, it's nothing happening. But then so I'm going to spin it with my left hand. So it's going to go uh, clockwise. Let's just, yeah, so I'm going to it's going clockwise. And then when I push this down, okay, this is it didn't spin fast enough. 
Like this was, uh, I just want to do a test. Yeah, and, and then it goes, uh, then it lines up. We're going to go super slow motion. Okay. Go back a bit. Okay, so I'm going to go a clockwise spinning. So this way. And then you target it, and now it's going to go shift such that it lines up. So remember, it was, it was going downwards this way. So it's going to go, and now it's going down, aligning with this uh, global rotation. So basically, literally matching up with this drawing I had. So not this uh, uh, image that this person had. Their arrows are in the wrong direction. Again, I, I'm pretty certain about that. So this was a crude one. So then what I wanted to do was, uh, so then I made, uh, I just did this one here, and I drew the, this one, uh, this, this one today, just make it more clear. So here's the jar compass. I made the arrows where I'm going to be spinning it up. Okay, so speed this up. So right now, if you move it, uh, it just moves around. It doesn't have any uh, angle momentum. And I'm just going to lower the volume. All right, so it's spinning it up. Yeah, so it's spinning it up. Uh, this is clockwise this way, or wherever the arrows are uh, pointing. That's where the spin is. So now notice what I'll be doing here. Okay, so if I move it, it's a yeah, it wants to align. Uh, but now, now I'm torquing it. If someone, if I torque it vertically, notice how it's going to be. It's going to be aligning with the oh, oh yeah, with that now it reverses there. Okay, so there is the arrows. And then if I go opposite, it always wants to align with the overall direction. And if I go super fast, okay, so there's the the thing. So I'm going down like this. Yeah, so that's the way it wants to uh, align. So it's aligning with the spin. If I go backwards, notice it goes, it reverses. So it reverses there. But it's, uh, but if you don't actually torque it properly, if, if there's no angle of torque, it, even if you go reverse, it will, it will uh, not, not process, but it's unstable as I will show right here. So this is relating to this part right here. So if you spin in the same direction, this is stable. If it's spin and the procession or the torque is uh, the same direction, it's stable. If you go this way, it's unstable, but the second you deviate, it's going to flip. So keep that in mind. So um, we will go back to here. All right, keep that in mind. So I'm going to go so slowly right here. Yeah, this one, it's, it's, it's stable. And then if you go backwards, it, it can go. But if the second you go too fast, it's going to be torque. And I notice I just flipped over. So it always wants to align with external torque, hence uh, earth rotation. So, okay, so it's going to go, okay, now it's going backwards, yeah. And again, this is, a, this is so gyroscopes deal in torque. So yeah, with the gyro compass, the entire earth needs to be rotating <laughs> in order to torque it like this. Okay, so if, if the earth was stationary and the sky was moving, it still wouldn't torque it. You would need some sort of special uh, mechanism to torque this. All right, so it's torquing, and let's see if some more stuff. So now, now I do. I think I do horizontal. Yeah, so if I do horizontal, same thing. It always wants to line up, and if you go reverse, it's going to reverse. It's going to automatically torque, and then if you go fast, rapidly, so it's just going rapidly back and forth. So that's one I want to illustrate with the arrows. So that's pretty clear. Now this one is even more clear. Um, I, this was literally just after the gyro compass section of my anti gravity video. So there, there it is. This one here is that same setup I had, but if you have it vertically. It's just going to be a gyro compass. So this lines up with the, the uh, rotation of the earth. And, and another thing, yeah, so if you had a gyro compass and you put it on the uh, north pole, but then you just put it uh, put it down horizontally, it's actually going to go uh, horizontally uh, aligns with the center of uh, with the rotation. So you can actually prove that it's not only just rotation, but it also has a pole, or in other words, it's, it's, it's uh, curved. So you can show that. Show that. And again, uh, if I were to visit North Pole, I would bring a whole bunch of gyroscopes. All right, continuing uh, further. So the next one is MES experiments. Yeah, 31 this is a mechanical demonstration of inertia uh, by Francis McCabe. And uh, yeah, just going scrolling back up here. Actually, yeah, uh, so at, at the end of this one, I end up showing this one right here is an uh, experiment. So these are uh, gyro horizons from uh, World War II. And then he has uh, attached it to this apparatus. And if you uh, torque it externally, they all line up. So his idea was to demonstrate uh, uh, inertia where all the mag, mag uh, all the atoms line up whenever you do a change of acceleration. So anyways, but these are literally, uh, this can be viewed as gyro compasses. Then when you uh, torque the external, they all line up. And so let's just go over to here. So it's a bit loud. Okay, so there's four gyro horizons. So right now, whoops. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's a bit noisy. Okay. So basically, it's all over the place. So you have this gyros uh, spinning up, and it's all uh, random orientations. 
Yeah, so it's all random orientations. The second he torques it, they all line up. Yeah, so we go faster. Okay, there he's gonna torque it and look at them. Yeah, so basically he's demonstrating inertia, but also uh, I believe uh, magnetism as well, because that's pretty much how magnets are magnetized. You just have a larger magnet or electromagnet, and it, they all line up. It's all the smaller magnets. Anyways, he's going to torque it up. So they're all in random orientations. And once he torques it, they all line up. So in other words, these are literally a whole bunch of gyro compasses all pointing and north. And uh, yeah, so they just automatically line up and there's a, a good demonstration here. So you have random orientation, lines up, and this is a, a clear demonstration of a gyro compass. All right, so that's what I want to show. And now the next setup is a, just a bit more entertainment. And this one right here. So this is that, uh, so these are a whole bunch of people I was asked online to look up. But then if you go, this channel has, uh, if you write gyro compass, uh, it literally shows nothing here. It's 30,000 subscribers, never mentioned gyro compass, he's flat earth. Uh, uh, researcher apparently 327 videos and I've only done two videos and it was on a gyro compass just to uh, compare and contrast and also he was arrested at Mount Rushmore as the crowd was cheering <laughs> so that was uh, quite interesting and he's wearing a white lab coat anyways that's pretty uh, epic stuff and his other person uh, was sent the Morgyle uh, gyro compass doesn't mention it all, at all has 554 videos 38,000 subscribers and again this whole there's a flat earth Channel is another person is a, is a Bible from heaven is uh, from heaven is the earth a globe or a search of gyro compass only it's once and they mentioned in a sentence uh, possibly I think uh, talking about a different gyro setup and then Eric Dubé I have so many scribes this one has only three thousand all right this one has one hundred ninety nine thousand this guy's the OG of <laughs> flat earth four hundred four forty three videos never mentions gyro compass so in other words they're not really out there to prove anything and uh, uh, prove uh, Flat Earth or, or anything. And actually, before I get, I mean, they're not actually there to try to uh, get to the truth. And this is another one I was told, Nathan Oakley, 8,000 subscribers. And so Gyro Compass, he only has it mentioned in some live stream uh, debates he had, and he gets it wrong. He says Gyro Compass don't align with the Earth's rotation. <laughs> he says they use magnets or, or something like that. And he barely mentions it. But, but anyways, that was just a clown right there. Okay, this one right here. Uh, so the next setup is I was uh, actually invited just now to a flat earth X space. Because I've gotten a little uh, argument here. Just tell us about it. Uh, and they, I think he's replying to me or this other person. He says, yeah, flat earth uh, Xmas special. <laughs> Hashtag flat earth Fridays. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a giant party. Okay, and I said, oh, well, maybe another time. All right, going further. So I mean, is a globalist now. So <laughs> All right, all right, okay. This video is taking longer than I expect. Let's just keep, continue further. Next one, MES Link. So this one here, I was actually told, uh, this one here, Kotek, thank you for taking a stand against this flat earth nonsense. Your channel attracts flat earthers because it addresses certain conspiracies and many similar channels are afraid to say anything against the flat club because they don't want to lose subscribers. That is true. I know uh, several channels that don't want to speak out. And uh, yeah, and I, I, when I upload a video, yeah, I lost uh, a few subscribers right away. <laughs> but uh, whatever, stuff happens. Anyways, that was from uh, this comment right here. And then going further, speaking about subscribers, I'm almost at 50,000. I was actually going to get 50,000 like yesterday, but then I uploaded the Flat Earth one and I lost, I lost like four or five. So anyways, if you're the lucky 50,000 50, subscriber, that'll be epic, epic stuff here. Okay, this is from um, BitChute. Anyways, that is all for today. I wanted to go over that. And yeah, just briefly show, uh, again, these are just pretty much, uh, in my view, irrefutable view, the irrefutable demonstration of Gyro Compass and shows Earth's rotation. If you know any other way that uh, the gyro compass will be, will be giving north, um, or aligning with the rotation, uh, let me know about it because <laughs> it is not easy because the gyroscopes work in torque. So that is the important thing. It's not just a force, even if the sky is moving or the space is moving, but Earth's stationary, it will not induce a torque. So notice that right here, the entire thing needs to be moving, but the actual gyro uh, gyroscope or gyro compass because it wants to align with Earth's gravity. I mean, it wants to, uh, it, I mean, it wants to maintain its orientation uh, due to its uh, inertia. And because of that, it's basically uh, being torched. So that's, that's, that's the kind of 
uh, setup that is being done. So in other words, everything's rotating relative to the gyroscope or gyro compass. All right, so that is all for today. There's again, a bunch of links. I'll put them in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution. All right.